Hey you guys, Linwood here with an extremely busted head of hair, but that's okay because I'm going to show you guys how to take it from horrible to some rather dapper finger waves. But first we've got to start off with some wet hair. So I'm going to be really corny here and wet it up. And let's go ahead and get on into the rest of the tutorial. So now that it's wet, we're going to start off by combing this hair smooth. From there, I'm going to grab a bit of my favorite gel. It is extreme, and uh, I got it at Walmart, honestly, but I'll leave you a link in the description box below so you can order it online. I absolutely love this gel. It does not flake, and if I need to reactivate it the next day, I just wet it again. So I'm going to start, start by applying some of that into my hair, and once I get that thoroughly applied, I'm just going to go ahead and comb it smooth yet again. From there, I'm going to go ahead and start off by brushing it back, or combing it back, I apologize. And then from there, I'll just push this hair forward, which you'll see here in just a moment. So we're pushing it forward, and that's basically helping to encourage that first set of waves. I'm basically seeing what exactly my hair wants to do before I start trying to tell it exactly where it's going to go and how it's going to go there. So now that I've encouraged that first wave, I'm just going to go in with my fingers and press down behind it and comb my hair back in the opposite direction. And basically, I'm just going to go ahead and comb back and forth like this, uh, continuing to hold that middle of the ridge in place with my fingers while I comb and create another wave on the back side. So once I have that, I'll go ahead and jump just behind it and do the same thing in the opposite direction. Uh, this is basically a technique called finger waving, and it's a very basic skill of hairstyling uh, that is quite uh, old. I wouldn't call it dated because we still use it in a number of different applications now in hairstyling, but um, I absolutely love the way it works on my hair. So I'm showing you guys how I do it here in this video. If you'd like a more in-depth tutorial, I will more than likely end up leaving a link to a full in-depth tutorial on my other channel uh, in the description box down below. So if you are looking for that, just check out down there and I will be posting one there as well. Um, in the meantime, I'm just continuing this all the way back to the back of my head, making sure to pay special attention to the sides and getting all of that hair in there. So now I'm just continuing that motion back and forth. I'm going to continue all the way to the back of the head, making sure that I am getting it as smooth as possible. It's a little harder back here because you can't really see what you're doing. So you've got to kind of get used to the rhythm and just feel it out and flow with it. Okay, so you can see once I got to the back, I started working on trying to make sure it was laying as flat as possible. So you can tell these waves are turning out here. And you just want to make sure it lays nice and flat in the back because I have an undercut. So if I don't lay it down nicely, it will be poking out back there. And that is not cute. So here I'm just going to go in with the back side of my comb, not the teeth. And just encourage that hair to lay smooth between the ridges because I want it to have a bit of stand-up appeal to it as well. So as always, let me know what you think down in the comment box below. Um, I hope you like it. And of course, you are fancy now, as I'm going to say right here. And take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.